Hello everyone, this is Aaron with Costa Pro EMR. This video is going to be on just the patient services section of the patient dashboard, which includes features such as sending consent forms, charting, and signing off on charts. And now that you've loaded everything in the back end and have successfully created an appointment for a patient, the next step is to go into their dashboard. So there are two ways to navigate there. The first is to select the patient in the drop down up here and then click patient dashboard. The other would be to just click on the appointment bubble on the scheduling calendar and then click dashboard. So everything here in the patient dashboard section is all patient specific. So everything you see is just for Joseph Chen. And for now, I'll just be going straight to the patient services section here. Uh, and this is where you'll be doing most of the work. And as for the others, I'll go over those in a separate video. So in the patient, patient dashboard you can click the expand button over here to get a larger view or you can click view more information to get the entire view and here in the patient services this is where you're going to be doing most of the work like I said before um, this is where you're going to be doing your charting as well as sending your consent forms and pre and post instructions so if you've already booked an appointment for the patient the services for that appointment will automatically populate here as a service line so I believe the one that I clicked on to even get here in the first place was this appointment right here for 12 p.m. Uh, and it was for Botox. And so if there isn't a formal appointment but you do want to add a service line, you can actually do so by clicking the add service to patient button up here. And once a service line has populated, you can see the name of the service, the uh, package name if it's part of one, as well as the date received. And to add one, you just click it and then just follow the format here. Then you have the appointment details that it's connected to and then you have the section to send a consent form. And while you're here, you can also click here to toggle the upper right hand to hide the appointment date column if you prefer. So if you wanna see the appointment time or not want to, uh, it'll save up some space and kind of clutter your area a little bit uh, less if you prefer. But moving on to the consent form. So to send a consent form, what you want to do is click the sign button. So we'll just go with this one, the second one for now. Um, it's going to look like this typically. So you click the sign icon and then you select a template from the drop down of your saved consent forms. Let's say chemical peel. Right, it'll then appear here. And then if you're on a tablet um, and the patient's in front of you, you can just hand it over to them and then have them sign on the spot like that. And then you would click the submit button. You can also click the send via email or SMS icons and from there they'll receive a link to the exact forms with the ability to sign at the very bottom. You can also send multiple consent forms. So if I click this and then you know, a consent like that, you'll be able to view both of them. And then if they're on the tablet, you can just have them sign one time and then right here, check off, I read all the consent forms. And then when you click submit, it's going to apply this to all of the consent forms. And then what you can also do is you can also send this via email and SMS as well, and they'll get the same options to sign off all of them uh, one by one. And now going back to the patient services section, under the consent form column, you're going to now see something like this, where it's a square icon that says consent form list. So which, when you click on that, you'll be able to see all of the consent forms that you've sent out and, and if they were signed or not. So if they were signed, you'll see an I icon and this one I believe it's just meaning that it's been sent via SMS. And then if you want to send more uh, consent forms, you would just click the sign here and just do the same exact thing. And now moving on is the encounter column, which is where you'll be doing all of your charting. So I'll click the plus button to add an encounter, then select the provider, let's say Chris, and then the encounter type. So this is you selecting which template you want to use. Uh, our system comes pre-populated with some charting templates for the basic services, but if you need one that we don't already have, then you'll need to add it yourself, which I will show later on in a separate video. Um, but let's say you want to use the botulinum toxin one, right? So this is one of our ones that comes pre-populated and click go. And this is how it looks like. You're going to get all these fields to fill in, uh, such as like not lot number, you get the, well, the type you can select the lot number, expiration date, dilution, area injected, complications, and additional notes. And below that is an image template right here. 
that you can mark up and you can choose to use the default image here or you can select an image from your device by clicking upload image so if you're on your computer it'll come from your computer um, if you're on your phone or tablet it'll come from there and it'll open up the photo album section of those devices and then another thing is you can actually click select image which will pull up from your uh, patient section of uh, Joseph Chen's dashboard so any uh, photos that you have saved there you're able to just pull that into here and start charting on it right away and so for example let's just use the default image and then what we can do is click edit and then this toolbar will appear at the top you can click on the pen icon to free draw or you can draw F little X's as well but we have an actual X button here to show where you have injected like that and then we have the text icon up here so the a button is where you'll is basically just meaning that this is the text one so whatever you have right here text for image editor text box is what's going to appear once you drop it so if i wanted to do like units for example i would say 1.0 and then i can just click like that and if i change it to 2.0 oh, 2.0 i can do that as well you can undo with the undo button and then you can delete everything and the next one is this where you have the dot icons instead or you can use the pen uh, to highlight right and then it'll automatically save but you can also save by clicking the check button here and then you can click save encounter so one last thing to talk about for, at least for the text areas is that um, you don't always have to keep rewriting it every time we also have these pre-saved options so if you know that you're going to be using uh, these markings all the time you can just save yourself the time and select that instead and then to access this area where to even add things here you go to back end and then I believe it's image editor right there and then once you're done you can click save the encounter and you'll be good to go right here and then once an encounter has been saved you can edit you can view it again and then you can add follow-ups or delete it and then you have all the details of when it was done right here and if you click back that's where it is so what you just saw right here is the encounter list and just like with the consent forms you can have multiple encounter forms per service line and so you can do that and the final thing is adding uh, this section right here where you can send the consent I mean the encounter form to your admin provider or medical director to someone to sign off on it so if you click that then you can select them from the drop down and then you can uh, decide if you want to send it via email or SMS or both and then click send and what it's gonna look like from their end is they're gonna get a link they click it they're gonna see the entire encounter form that you've created with all the markings and notes and details and at the very bottom they're gonna have a button to electronically sign for it and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching